It's the year of the pitchers in the 2015 Baseball Hall of Fame. Hey guys, I'm Diana Rossini. All eyes will be on Cooperstown this weekend. Eric Wedge joins me now. Eric, Pedro Martinez, Randy Johnson, John Schmoltz. They're all in this year's inductees class. And also you have Craig Biggio, the only position player. He breaks up the uh, pitching core there. Which player you think is long overdue here? I have to say Craig Biggio. I know Biggio from way back, went even all the way back to Seton Hall in college. And the fact that he got 3,000 hits and didn't get in right away, that's somewhat amazing to me as a baseball historian. Just for the fact. Is that automatic? Well, it should be automatic. Yeah. I mean, it's 3,000 hits, boom, your first year eligible, yeah. you're in. But it just goes to show you how the Hall of Fame has changed and the way the writers, you know, vision of the Hall of Fame has changed over the years. Yeah. And Everyone loves to debate this. All baseball fans do, right? People get really passionate and angry about oh, yeah. who should be inducted, or at least who should be on that nomination list. Who do you think is on that still that hasn't gotten in? That it's like, when is he ever going to get in? Well, I, I'm still trying to get over Jack Morris Good. not being in the Hall of Fame. You know, he was legitimately the best pitcher in the 90s. Uh, you look at the winner he was in multiple championship teams, World Series championship teams. You know, that game seven in 91, he throws 10 shutout innings. They win it. Uh, for me, one of the greatest World Series games in history. So uh, Jack Morris, for me, is the one guy that I just feel like has been horribly omitted from the Hall of Fame. What's it take then? How do you get in? Well, well some guys just aren't going to get in. Some guys <laughs> just aren't going to get in. You know, I mean, these guys have a vision. Uh, the whole steroid controversy has screwed up the way these guys have been thinking about it, and there's a lot of controversy back and forth. But uh, you have to still respect the process. You have to respect the fact that, you know, these writers have spent a long time and they worked hard to, to be in a position to vote. And, uh, uh, and it is a, indeed a, just an unbelievable honor to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Of the four guys that are going to be honored this Sunday, which one do you think has the best legacy? Probably Randy Johnson. I mean, if you look at what he did as a left-handed starting pitcher, he was just so dominant. Arguably the most intimidating left-handed pitcher of all time. Over 4,000 strikeouts, 300 wins. Um, my first big league start was against him. He struck me out twice in a row in six pitches. It was no contest for him. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I would have to say Randy Johnson. I like that you're not bitter about it. That's good. <laughs> right, the Cooperstown inductions happen this Sunday, and you can follow along on our, with our coverage on ESPN.com. Thanks for stopping by.